everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, a CLC, and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And I'm here today to talk to you about three different ways to encourage rolling in your infant. So first let's talk a little bit about when to expect rolling and which direction rolling typically occurs. In. Typically we see infants roll from their belly to their back by four months of age and from their back to their belly by six months of age. Not all infants go belly to back first, some go back to belly first, and that is totally fine as long as they're doing it symmetrically. So one thing we watch for with rolling is if an infant is only rolling in one direction. So if they're on their back and they only roll one way and then they roll back the other way and not in the other direction, that shows that there is this asymmetry, whether in the neck or the trunk, and it would be worth seeking out an occupational therapy or physical therapy ev evaluation to address that asymmetry. When we're looking at rolling in general, there are a couple different things you can work on with your infant who is over four months of age to encourage rolling if they're not quite there yet. A lot of times what we see in infants prior to them start to roll is actually grabbing and playing with their feet and rocking back and forth to both directions. If your infant is four months of age or older and is not doing that yet, one thing you can work on is facilitating them playing with their feet. So one of my favorite things to do is to get some Mardi Gras beads and put it around your infant's feet and then help them initially hold on to them. And having that, the tactile input of the beads, but also the visual will help them see their feet and engage with their feet a little bit more. And they'll start to work on some of that rocking motion. If your infant has a difficult time bending their legs and getting it up to where their arms are at, you can also put a towel roll on the small of their back and that will get their pelvis in a higher position that will make it easier for them to then bring their feet up to their hands. And you can work on it that way as well. So that can be a great thing to work on with your infant to facilitate rolling. Another thing I love to work with my infants on in regards to rolling is the motor plan for rolling. So the motor plan is how the brain tells our body to move. And sometimes infants need a little bit help with figuring out what that movement is or making sure they're doing the most efficient movement for it. This is an exercise infants also love. So a lot of times I do this at the beginning of a session if I'm working for the, with the infant on rolling or other activities on the floor to kind of wake up their body and get them ready for the movement. So for this, you're gonna hold the infant at their pelvis and you're gonna roll in one direction, roll back, roll in the other direction, roll back, and do that back and forth a couple times. When you're doing this, what we're looking for is for the infant to start to control their head and then to start to control their shoulders and their pelvis and do the movement more independently. After you've done it back and forth a couple times, you can work on doing it more slowly and leading at the pelvis and seeing if your infant can then use their muscles to turn the rest of the way. When you're going from their belly to their back, you can go from the shoulder and just tuck their shoulder in and that will help with the movement in the opposite direction. This can also be really great if your infant is showing a little bit of preference for rolling to one side, because you can really target the muscle control and which muscles they're using and how they're using them for the roll to make sure it's more efficient. Finally, if your infant is around four or five months of age, you've been working on them bringing their legs up to their hands, you've been working on the facilitated rolling, you can also work on the visual tracking aspect of rolling and the movement of the neck. And for this, the important thing to note is rolling is on a diagonal. So when an infant is on their back and you want to facilitate rolling, you're actually gonna catch their attention right at the middle and you're gonna go up in a diagonal. That is gonna mean that their head is gonna go up in this direction. That movement of the head is part of what will help facilitate the roll. Same thing if they're on their belly. You're gonna catch their attention right in the middle. You're gonna come up this way, and that's gonna cause their head to look up and roll in that direction. If you find that your infant is having difficulty overall with visual tracking, go back a step and work on visual tracking just in tummy time. 
to have them up here, get their attention with a preferred toy, and just work on going to one side and going to the other. Um, it is important that infants are able to do that visual tracking as well as push up straight on their arms and reach for objects before rolling. So if that's something your infant is having difficulty with, there are some other strategies we can do to work on that as well. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development or rolling specifically, we would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Please reach out. Thanks so much.